Most of the time you hear people seeking funding, they're seeking a paycheck. Funding is not your paycheck, okay? Your pay as a founder is you're gonna own a big company. And that sucks and people don't like it, but there's a rule, you know, my investment partner at Ecliptic Capital, uh, Mike Irwin came up with years ago that I've always thought was a great advice, which is make it up, uh, you know, you, you use it up, wear it out, make do or do without. And when he, when, he, when he came up with that, I was like, that's the entrepreneur's credo, right? That is, that is what it's like. Like there's no entrepreneurial story that's like, had a great idea, people gave me millions of dollars, we went public and like to you, it's like, that's not how any of this works, right? Um, the second mistake, which is probably the one for people to pay the most attention to, so you know, don't be trying to get the picture. No investor wants to hear, I'm gonna give you a million dollars, 800,000 and it goes to pay you guys and $200,000 goes into building a bank that gives me my money back, <laughs> right? That's not a good pitch. But the second thing, and probably the most important thing, is that people don't right size their rounds. They don't do cap table management right. They don't. They don't know that there's a physics to the business. A classic mistake. Um, they do a bunch of friends and family rounds that are people that most likely get crushed out later. There's all these. But but we're talking about getting funding, right? So they don't manage funding process. They don't manage what the effects on the cap table. They don't do enough modeling. The third thing, which is like the absolute most important is know who the fuck you were talking to, right? Like you're going to go to a person that writes $50 million checks and ask them for $500,000. They are not writing that check. You're not even going to move the needle, right? They're not, there's no reason for them to even talk to you. Likewise, you can't go to somebody who does average $500,000 allocation and be like, I need you to write a $25 million, $50 million check. That doesn't make sense. So I think when people get, entrepreneurs often get VCs a bad rap. Um, not that a lot of them don't deserve it, but entrepreneurs are often like, well, I went to all these people and they all said no. Well, sure, you went to 20 people and they all said no. 20 asked, 20 knows. But if 10 of them don't write checks for $5 million and your rounds a million dollars, why did you spend time talking to them anyway, right? And if five of the, the 10 that are left, okay, if they spent, uh, you know, time where they don't do deep tech or they have a time horizon that's short on the fund and you're not in that so they don't match so already out of 20 people 15 of them never could have written you the check even if they loved you and wanted to just based on the physics of their fund and the way that they do business right and so now you have the last five and you say oh well well three of those were people who i knew already made an investment in something adjacent to me that they might think is competitive so now they're defending their portfolio, they're not going to listen to you, they're just going to want to learn what they can and maybe share it, okay? So out of 20 people, only two of them ever really could have given you funding. And you just wasted your time with those other 18 people.